a geometric fallacy. Now we'll look at the, the square on the left hand side there. Let's put some dimensions on it. What you can do, you can you can get some grid paper and, and cut this out and so show the students this little puzzle. Gives them gets them sort of sort of explains the fact you don't sort of always assume what you've got in this. There we go. Here are the shapes. So this one here will be five. These are congruent shapes. Right now, then I'm just going to rearrange them. So this will be a five here. Okay. Uh, this uh, longer one here is going to be eight. Of course, it's going to be a five. Now, if we work out of each of these little areas in here. That's that's going to be obviously um, this is five. This is three there, sorry. So this is a, a trapezium. And the area of the trapezium, trapezium is add these two together, 8 divided by 2. That's 4 and 4, 5 to 20. And this one will be the same on the other side. All right, so this is 8, this is 3, and that's half of 8 is 4, 4 is 3 is 12, and it's a congruent one on the other side there. So if you add all these dudes up, they come up to, or well, the area of the square is equal to 64. So 20 plus 20 plus 12, plus 12, give us 64. Seems okay, isn't it? But look at this. This is 5 plus 8, that's 13. And 5 times 13 equals 65. Okay, I'll explain the paradox, or the fallacy, in the next video. See if you can work it out.